What a baby. I thought I'd found a real man, but he's just like a little girl. Whenever a woman uses the words, a real man, ignore everything she says after that. Facts. I'm not even saying this to be funny, but you should be pissing off a man as soon as possible. You will see their true colors very, very quickly. They'll say something, they'll do something, and you will know if that's a man that you should be dealing with. This is an everyday mission for most women, and they do it subconsciously. So there's no need for this chick to remind them to do it again. It's in her nature. So I hate sending I'm not interested texts to dates, okay? Because either you get one of three responses. You either get no response, a pissed off response, but hurt response, or three, you get an in-between response, which is like, no problem, see ya, kind of thing. This was the very first time I got like an actually uh, mature response. He said, you know you don't owe me anything. Don't worry about my feelings. And that like took me back for a second. I was like, I'm such a people pleaser and it's something I'm working on. And like with dating, you kind of have to be a little bit unapologetic sometimes. And <laughs> so that just like, it's so true. And I'm so glad that he said that and that he wasn't offended. And he was like, dating apps are so weird because you're kind of forced into either liking the person or not liking them so quick. So he's like, it happens. It's part of dating. Don't worry about it. I was like. The best response I would recommend is to message her two letters, okay, and then delete her number. It's the cleanest way to do it. It shows acceptance while also showing you don't care at the same time. I like that. Love versus compliment to you. Thank you. What's in it? What's in it for her? You don't need it on my Why? I'm not interested. This is what? I what didn't say nothing. I just asked for your name. Why do you know that I'm interested in you? I never said I was interested in you. I don't have to entertain you. If you stop by, it's to entertain you. I never me. said I was interested in you. This is a prime example of how to not handle rejection. He should have left straight after she said she was not interested. It's exactly what I would have done. Okay, my biggest ick, I don't know if it, it could be your ick, maybe, um, is that, you know, when people go on dating apps, you go there to meet people. You go there to get to know someone, have conversations. And when you're like talking to someone and you're always the one asking questions like, oh, where are you from? What have you been up to this weekend? What do you like? Okay, these kind of generic questions, whatever you ask, and you're asking this person, and they're just responding, and they're just saying, oh, what about you? So therefore, they're not actually putting any effort in asking you questions. Um, that is my biggest ick, when I'm the one constantly asking questions. I'm sorry, if you're interested, you would like to get to know me, or you'd like to get to know that person. So if someone's like that, I kind of stop after a few few conversations or questions because I can see that they're not asking anything. Why should I carry on the conversation? Many women would say those types of generic questions are boring and she's getting exactly the same responses that 99% of men would get when they are trying to talk to women. It doesn't feel good to live life as a man, does it?